from rhinos, fish, and crocodiles to porcupines, lizards, and armadillos, here are 16 awesome animals with amazing armor. Number 16, Echidna. It's also called the spiny anteater, and it's often mistaken for a porcupine. Along with the platypus, they are the only mammals that lay eggs, or creatures identified as monotremes. Echidnas are found in Australia and New Guinea. Their coarse hair and spines have inspired some to call them the Australian hedgehog, but they have no relation to that critter or to porcupines for that matter. When threatened, the timid critters will either try to bury themselves or curl into a ball and let their spines shield them. Number 15, Alligator Gar. These fish can reach some impressive sizes, measuring more than eight feet long and weighing over 300 pounds. Unlike the scales of other fish, these animals have diamond-shaped scales, which are bone-like and can have serrated edges. Because of an enamel-like substance that covers the scales, they provide excellent protection against predators and are nearly impenetrable. The gar's scales are so impressive that they've served as inspiration for researchers in developing flexible armor. Experts say the tough scales would likely best be used for armors that could withstand punctures or lacerations. Number 14, conches. Gastropods, or snails, are not the sort of creatures that immediately spring to mind when you think of armored animals. But the snail's shell, or conch, can fulfill the purpose of armor as they can retreat within whenever the mollusk is under attack. Now, those conches actually represent one of the toughest armors found in nature. Experts estimate that the impact-resistant shells are around 10 times stronger than mother-of-pearl. And amazingly, these shells are actually built from weak proteins and brittle, chalky materials. But because they are mixed in just the right fashion, the conches can rival the quality of armor materials that have been engineered. In fact, the conches have proven difficult to crack when subjected to stress tests. Number 13, Thorny Devil. Native to Central Australia, these lizards are colored brown and tan to better camouflage themselves within their desert environment. Their bodies have sharp spines which discourage predators from eating them. The fearsome-looking spikes cover the entire dorsal side of the critter's body, but it's not their only defense mechanism. In addition to the armor and camouflage, the creature has another unique method to confuse predators. The dragon-like lizard will lower its head between its front legs and then present a false head made of soft tissue that is found on the back of its neck. Number 12, porcupines. Along with hedgehogs, these mammals are perhaps the best known for their coats of sharp spines or quills that serve as a type of spiny armor and will definitely deter predators. While hedgehogs are known to roll up into a ball when threatened, not unlike armadillos, porcupines are known to go on the offensive. The rodents will run backwards in an attempt to impale its quills into the face and paws of its aggressor. But they cannot actually shoot their quills, contrary to some stories. Number 11, mollusks. These creatures are bivalves, meaning they have two-part shells that they will open and close as necessary. Sometimes, as is the case with the giant clam, the shell is open during the day for the purposes of photosynthesis. Chitons are another form of mollusk, but these critters have shells that are comprised of eight separate plates, or valves. The shell plates provide for protection and allow the animals to navigate over uneven surfaces. Number 10, Texas Horned Lizard. Similar to the thorny devil of Australia, the Texas Horned Lizard is another creature armed with a spiky exoskeleton. And it's actually the largest bodied species of horned lizard in the western part of the country. More often than not, the animal can camouflage itself against predators. But when threatened, it will puff up, which makes its body scales protrude, and that makes it difficult for a predator to swallow. But maybe its most impressive defense mechanism might not be its armor at all. Did you know these lizards can aim and shoot a stream of blood from their eyes and mouth sometimes at a distance for up to five feet? Number nine, lobsters and crabs. 
These creatures have exoskeletons or external skeletons that serve as their protective armor. Their fellow arthropods, including insects and arachnids, also have the hard, segmented exoskeletons to protect and support their bodies. Some of the better-known armored arachnids include scorpions, whose exoskeletons are especially heavy and durable. Insects like beetles have especially hard exoskeletons comprised of several plates. That allows for flexibility while providing for an armored defense. Other insects well known for their armored appearance include grasshoppers and cockroaches. And roaches in particular have very tough exoskeletons that are waterproof, and that's one reason why they are so difficult to get rid of. Number 8. Turtles These reptiles are well known for their protective shells. The carapace is made of bone and covered in scutes that are made of keratin. It serves as a type of armor that defends them against various predators. Now, in particular, the alligator snapping turtle has an especially distinctive shell. The three big pronounced ridges run from the front of the shell to the back. The unique look kind of makes them look like dinosaurs. The creatures don't quite reach those proportions, although they are the largest freshwater turtles with powerful jaws. On average, they're known to weigh around 180 pounds, but larger sizes have been reported. Number 7. Fish Like we mentioned earlier with the alligator gar, fish have scales that can be used as armor. Some even have spines that are used for this purpose. Some other fish with tough armor-like skin include the arapaima. The torpedo-shaped animal is native to South America, and its skin is covered with large scales that are so hard that even a piranha cannot bite through it and it could even fracture their teeth. That has led researchers to develop new armor for use in the military based on the arapaima skin. Experts think the body armor would not only be flexible, but could withstand the impact of knives and bullets. Arapaima, along with other fish, have a soft elastic layer underneath their outer layer of hard scales, which allows their skin to remain flexible. In addition to lightweight body armor, scientists also think the new material could be used for spacesuits. Number 6. Crocs and Gators It almost looks like these creatures really are wearing suits of armor. And, you know, they basically are. Their thick skin is covered in rows of bony scales, or scutes, that are arranged in regular patterns and rows. The scutes and bony plates underneath them are mostly found along the animal's back and neck regions, along with their jaws. All in all, it likely means the big reptiles can likely take as much punishment as they can dish out. Number 5. Snakes Like many of their fellow reptiles, snakes have their own type of scale armor. The protective covering allows them to slither over surfaces that are hot or rough or both. Their scales are the result of layers of cells that are stacked one atop another. The top layer protects the ones underneath. Did you know that snakes have no eyelids? Instead, they have transparent scales that cover their eyes to protect them from harm. You could say they have armored eyes. Number 4. Rhinos Now these are some of the largest mammals on the planet, and they are known for physical characteristics like their horns and thick protective skin. While all rhinos have the armor-like epidermis, only one species actually looks like it could be wearing armor. The one-horned Indian rhinoceros is a big beast weighing more than 7,000 pounds, and the deep folds of its skin give the hide a segmented appearance making it look like natural body armor. Supple skin between the thick plates allows them to shift as the animal moves. Number 3. Armadillo Now you know this animal for its behavior of rolling up into a ball to protect itself from predators. But while all species of armadillos have protective bony plates, only one species actually rolls up into a ball, and that is the three-banded armadillo of South America. It's known to rely heavily on its armor to protect itself. It won't run away or fight. Its armor rolls up and snaps shut, similar to a trap, and completely encloses the animal. Once the predator has departed, the armadillo moves on about its business. In all, two species of the three-banded armadillo exhibit this ability. Other species have too many plates to assume that position. Number 2. Offensive Armor You probably wouldn't expect to see animals like birds or deer on this sort of list, but those animals provide for some examples of offensive armor, which they can use to attack their attackers. 
So animals like rhinos have defensive armor like their hides, but their offensive armor is provided by their horns. In the case of birds, their beaks and talons would serve as offensive armor. And with the largest talons of any living eagle in addition to its beak, the harpy eagle would be pretty well armored. The offensive armor of deer would include their hooves and antlers. The moose is the largest member of the deer family with sharp pointed hooves and big plank-like antlers they can use to discourage unwanted aggressors. Number 1. Pangolin now, these creatures are often confused with armadillos, and some people think they resemble an anteater that decided to throw on some armor. But unlike armadillos, all extant species of pangolins will roll up into a protective ball using their plate-like scales to protect themselves. This prehistoric-looking animal is thought to be the only mammal on Earth that is covered in scales made of keratin and resembles chainmail. They grow to around 39 inches long, and even though they resemble anteaters and armadillos, they are not related to either animal. New evidence indicates that pangolins are more closely related to the carnivora, which includes bears and wolves. Along with its distinctive scales, these animals also have another unwanted distinction, that of being the world's most trafficked mammal. Experts say that more than 100,000 pangolins are captured in Asia and Africa each year. 